Mr. Blue, what are you doing sprawled across the sofa at this time of the morning? Well, by rights, if you don't mind me saying so, you should be upstairs in bed with your wife. Uh-huh. I see what the problem is. You've been on the rustle again, haven't you? <laughs> Tell you what, I've got an alka seltzer in my handbag. I can get it out, dissolve it. You'd be better quick as a flash. Why don't I phone the doctor? Look, I'll just tell him it's an emergency. Because you really look rather peaky. You don't look well at all, Mr Blue. You'd better be sure you don't throw up. How much did you lose? You swore that I would get double return on my investment. As it stands, I own 65% of nothing. I've got some very good projects on the pipeline, Mr. Law. You'll get all your money back. And I'll even buy back your 65%. Of course I'll get my money back. I'm giving you three days to repay me. Or I'll secure you and your good lady wife a nice little holiday. A permanent one. Do we understand each other? Three days, Mr. Law. I mean, if you gave me two months... You can go now. I'll be watching you. Are you okay? You look troubled. But you've come to the right place. I had it all, and then I lost it. What's life so hard? Pray for mercy, my son. Pray for mercy, so that all will be forgiven. I owe some serious money to some serious people. And if I don't get it to them, I'm scared. You need mercy from God. When God grants you mercy, no one on this planet can refuse you. How does that relate to someone like me? Come, let's pray. Repeat with me. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive, forgive our, our debts as we forgive our debtors.
Don't let him out of your sight. Good day to you too. I have a little job for you. Hmm. It's down by the docks. Uh, usual terms and conditions. Well, he's been a very naughty boy. making his payments on time. I just want you to lean on him a bit. Remind him of his commitments. No, 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 don't bother about the others. Just get that done for me, ASAP. As you're aware, you owe me a considerable amount of money. Yes, Mr. Lord. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've decided to release you from your debt. I'm in a good mood, as my first grandchild was born this afternoon. And I'm going to give you a break. And on top of that, I'm going to advance you more money so you can get your business up and running again. Is that clear? I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Mr. Law. It's quite simple, actually. I know times are hard. The economy is tough. But we've been doing business together for a while. So I've decided to take a chance, show you some leniency, and help you with a very generous offer. I'm happy. You're happy. And together, we will both make money. That's what matters in the end, isn't it? Making money. How's that sound? Good? That sounds very good, Mr. Law. And I was worried about those, that couple who rent my other place. <laughs> they owe me two months back rent. Bloody skids. But I don't need to worry about that now. Well, why don't you just throw the asses out on the street then? Shit! I'm going to! <laughs> Bloody freeloaders! I don't need them hanging around my place! If they don't have my money, well they can bloody well leave! <laughs> I can do whatever I want! I'm the man! <laughs> We should have some fun! Who is it? It's Blue, your landlord. Listen, do you know what time it's right? <laughs> <here? laughs> do you think I care? You're two months behind with the rent, and guess what? It's time to pay up, loser. We need to collect. Oh, now come on, wait. What's going on? Nothing, just stay upstairs. No, wait, wait, wait. No, come on. Wait, wait, stay back! Luke, what are you doing here? I want the two of you out of my house. Luke, please don't do this. I can do whatever I want. Don't you dare touch my dog! Maybe we should just go. Get out of my house. I don't need you flee with free world just hanging around. I've come into more money than I'll ever need, so I don't need you. I told you, I told you, I'd get you your money, but you know there's been complications. I'm here to give you complications. <laughs> haven't got the cash. Time to leave. <laughs> Look, we're going okay. You don't need to touch me. You'll get yours one day. 
Every dog has its day. <laughs> Trust me, I've already got mine. <laughs> Did you have any luck last week? Mm -hmm. Well, he's always been a slippery bastard. Don't just take any shit from him, will you? No, no, no. I haven't got anything. No, you got can't no, no, don't no, talk to him. No, 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 give it to him! Back off. No, no, no. I, don't, I, don't. I need it now! If you need a bit of help, just come calling. Okay? I haven't got anything. I just need some change. Give it to him! 20, 20 pounds! No, I haven't got 20 pounds! Yeah, I'm always good for a few thousand, you know that. Hold on a second. Let me call you back. Driver, stop! Call an ambulance! Oh, oh, get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Help me! 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 Help Taste of things to come, hey? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the best for you. I bet you're glad you didn't listen to your mother now, aren't you? Mm. So, now, finally, I'm going to get what I deserve, yeah? We both are. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> Mercy! 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 <laughs> 